how you doing how you doing and how you doing ladies and gentlemen and and real quick before we start the video in honor of spooktober um we are a floaty scary scary ghost head you know what i mean um i've got an extra green screen blanket that i haven't used in a while and uh we're using a pair of nail clippers as a clip in the back to keep it up that's right that's right we white trash but we pretty white trash we like an empty starbucks cup with a bow on it you know what i mean that good good <laughs> how you doing ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for stopping by today um if this is one of your first time catching my videos the way that i like to treat my content is essentially like a live show we try to do this all in one take and everything sometimes we have to stitch some stuff together but for the most part it's just one solid take um and me explaining some stuff to you in the best way that i can in my honest opinion never claim to be an absolute expert of this game um i just you know gonna share what I can try to make you laugh a little bit hopefully learn you a thing or two um, and then also just just be a little bit silly so hope you enjoy the ghost but we we need to talk about something so I, I haven't ragged on it too much but in terms of content on YouTube uh, for Genshin there is a lot of angry clickbait stuff out in the world today and one of the things that I keep seeing again and again and again is people just absolutely dogging the battle pass. Um, and early on, when you first get access to it, it can kind of be confusing. Like this is, this is what they're what they're giving me. But at that point in the game, you haven't really started spending resources yet. I think it unlocks at Adventure Rank 20. You have no idea what building a character means at that point yet. No idea. Um, and, and one of the things that, that surprises me is just how undersold that this gets uh, by a lot of people. So I wanted to put some shine on it and basically give you the honest take on the battle pass um so real quick if you're not super familiar with it let's just take a look at it real fast the way that the rewards work are very simple there's essentially like three or four main things that you're getting from this okay you're getting exp books to be able to level your characters you're getting enhancement ores to be able to level weapons and then you're getting more itself because that's money that's money and you know we're 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 smart people, you know what I mean? If you're looking at these, you might realize, like, okay, we're getting three, three, threes of these. Scroll up a little bit. Okay, we're getting six, getting six, getting five. So what I've done, and I started doing this yesterday when the servers were down and I couldn't do anything else, but we essentially counted and put together all of the rewards that you get from this battle pass because I wanted to understand myself where the value really was and try and turn it into you know something that makes a little bit more sense makes it click a little bit more um because when you start doing some math on this the battle pass is an amazing value like it is great for all the stuff that you get for it um for 9.99 you know, okay and there's even you know benefits and everything to where you've got your daily missions you got some weekly missions then you got um stuff for the uh, bp period and then when events come around, you also have events uh, that can feed into your battle pass. So it's it's they they do a pretty good job. I'm pretty I'm pretty proud. There's a lot more lazier battle pass that exists out there. Um, and I'm I'm super, super sorry to have to do this to everyone. But um, it's time to bust out notepad. That's right. That's right. We're we're in notepad. It's like middle school all over again. Um, but the main reason that I wanted to do this, oop, and I forgot to reset it from when I was testing some stuff. <coughs> oh, that wasn't a ghost hand. I don't know what you talking about, but <coughs> this is uh, honestly a just sad amount of math for how difficult it all was. Um, we can all just take a moment to thank American public schools for making just basic math a little mind breaking for me, but <sighs> We've essentially got in our top category here the total rewards, and I want to show the math and everything. So we've got everything written out as as best that I can, so that things are pretty much concise. So we've got you know the amount of mora that we're getting, the two values that you get. Um, in this all this math is assuming that you bought the battle pass, and we're talking about the full rewards, not just the free ones. 
Um, but from each of the first couple of ranks, you know, you get 54,000 Mora. Once you get up to the next couple of ranks, we're talking 128,000 Mora. Um, and it increases so on and so forth. So total, if you got all level uh, 50 on your battle pass, you're going to get 2.79 million Mora from the battle pass. I don't know if you're getting into AR30 yet and know how much you need Mora, but I am always, that is the first resource I run out at, out of everything. Um, it's a bit of a problem. <laughs> So okay, we're we're getting a nice chunk of Mora and everything. I'm I'm on board with that. Let's look at the XP books, all right? So again, I I, I essentially just focus on the purple ones from this. The blues are relatively easy to farm, but it's also not the real source of where all the XP is coming from. The purple ones give you a lot more experience, okay? Um, so we're talking about like a difference between like five thousand and twenty thousand. I want to say off the top of my head. Uh, so in total, you'll get 27 blues, 129 perps. Okay. Okay. Let's look at uh, enhancement ores and everything. We've got, you know, the number of values and how many times they're showing up. Again, if, you, if you're wondering why you're seeing times three a lot in all these, it's because they give these rewards in groups of three before it goes up to the next level and starts giving a little bit more. So, in total, we're going to get 384 enhancement ores out of this, uh, and that's for leveling up your weapon, okay? So, next thing that we've got here is essentially what the rewards are for doing ley lines and everything. And we've got both, um, essentially, in this category here, you got the character, um, uh, ex ex the character experience rewards, um, and then this category is Mora. You do not get these rewards at the same time. You're either doing the ley line for experience or you're doing the ley line for Mora. Um, so I don't want you guys to conflate those two and start getting a little confused. Now we're here to do. We're here to be a spooky ghost head, not confuse nobody. Happy Halloween. And uh, <laughs> welcome to the real Halloween event, by the way. <clears throat> so... And if you weren't aware, uh, the rewards for the ley lines go up according to your adventure rank level. So we've got, you know, 8 to 11, uh, you're getting 3 to 4 adventure experience, 7 to 8 wanderer's advice, and you, there's there's no more ones for, for that level bracket. You start getting those after level 12. So, I mean, we, we can all kind of piece together what the information here is. All right, so we've essentially used this table... Um, to kind of start doing math to figure out, okay, you know, to farm 2.79 million Mora, how are we going to do it, you know, and then we take into account how quickly we're getting the rewards from these ranks. So, you know, from AR 25 to 29, and I don't know why I have these written backward in some dyslexic way, I have no, I'm just, American public schools, you kill in the game, dog, you kill in the game. Um, but it'll take you a hundred runs at, you know, AR 25 to 29, um, and it'll take you 34 refills to do those. So you can get six runs out of, you know, your 120 resin. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, you take your hundred, divide that by six, and then it takes two refills to fill up your energy all the way. So then you uh, multiply that by two, and that's how we get to the 34 refills. It takes 34 refills at this adventure rank to be able to farm that. And that is just one, one piece of the battle pass. If, if you kind of get where I'm going here, you can just, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and then click off the video because we're just going to keep hammering this point home from here. So 78 runs um, for 30 to 34. It's 26 refills. 64 runs at 35 to 39. 22 refills. And even at above AR-40, which very few people are at, except except you, you hardcores, salute to you guys. I'd, I'd actually salute you, but I'm pretending I don't have hands right now. I mean, I don't have hands right now. I'm just a ghost head. Um, and it, even at the highest level, it will still take 18 refills um, to be able to hit that. And all of this math is assuming that you're getting the max reward. So every time you're doing it, we're assuming you're getting four instead of three. You know what I mean? I wanted to be as generous with this math as possible, um, you know, to see how it how it all adds up, right? 
So uh, we kind of mentioned it earlier um, as far as the experience and everything to farm 129 books, which equates to 2.58 million XP for characters. Um, at the highest ranks, you're still going to need 12 refills. All right, so real fast, if you're <clears throat> not super familiar with how the refill system works because it can kind of be confusing and I'm sure none of us want to spend our primos on uh, refills, but if you're spending primo gems, uh, the first time you refill, and I'm going to have to move this up too high, too high, too high. All right, so for your first refill, it's going to cost you 50 primo gems, right? Second one's going to cost you 100. Next one after that's going to be 100. Next one after that's going to be 150. And then the next two after that are 200. So in total, and you can only refill six times a day. The game limits you to that. So you can't even just wail and endlessly have resin. They cap it. Um, which isn't a bad thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing right now. I just want to make sure that's clear too. Uh, <clears throat> I think it shows you that they're not greedy, actually. But we'll we'll make a whole other rant video for that. So in total, it you have to spend 800 Primo gems uh, to be able to get all of your refills in a day. So with the system and how it locks you out on refills after six, and you have to spend 800 to get that six, it would take 2,400 2, primos in three days at over adventure rank 40 just to get the Mora from the battle pass. Um, 2,000 primos is, is $30, okay? So for three times the cost of the battle pass, you could farm it in this amount of time. You would be an insane person to do that. Um, but if you, you know, are just doing one refresh a day, that's, that's still going to take a lot of time and a lot of resin to get these rewards. And resin is your most valuable thing uh, in the game. Now, granted, this might all shift and change if in the next patch they do something about resin which even one of the head people on the discord uh general kenobi has changed his name to general uh resin nobi like they're leaning into the meme they're well aware um so we'll see what they do with all that but again all of this is based off the current system and and what the values of everything are so <clears throat> that's it it's just, it's just nuts 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 to me um, and then real quick, just to get into the ore, um, so to craft the, uh, the gems that they give you, uh, which I want to say is the mystic enhancement ores, uh, to craft those, you need four of the, uh, crystal chunks just to make one of those ores. Um, those are the light blue ones found around the world if you're not familiar with them. To be able to craft the number of ores you get from the battle pass, you would need 1,500 and 36 crystal chunks to be able to craft that many. Um, and then you would also need a lot of more. I did not feel like figuring out how much more that was going to cost. That is way too much math for Notepad. Um, so trying to farm this and running around in the world, like it is uh, impossible for me. Even if you were sending a few characters out on expeditions and actively using your time once you were out of resin to go around and farm crystal chunks, it would still take a very, very long time. Um, so you combine all these three things together, and just these three things alone, we're not even touching on you know, the fact that you get a couple of wishes or the fact that uh, you get the weapon and everything at 30. Just with this stuff alone, that, that's an insane value. For $9, that is pretty, pretty good. So, uh, I apologize for the slightly shorter video today. Um, I just wanted to, you know, kind of use math to be like, th people are being ridiculous on YouTube, and you should probably chill on listening to some of them. There's so much clickbait hate going on right now, and it's... I, I mean, and it, okay, so before we end the video, I do want to say this. I do get it. it. It does not look like a very flashy battle pass. The battle pass does not start making sense until you get to the end game and you realize how hard it is to get some of these resources and how valuable it is to have another source for them so that you can use your resin on other stuff. 
I, I, I get it. I get it. It did make sense to me when I hit AR-20 and saw it for the first time. And if, you know, you're seeing big old channels going, Oh, the battle pass is just awful. I, I can see how a lot of people got here. But to just be 100% honest, the value's pretty solid. It's, it's there. Um, could we have all wanted more wishes? Sure, but a 10 pull costs $30. All right. <clears throat> That's... It's just, it's just how, how the game works. <laughs> um, so it just, eh, I, I really, really don't know what to say past that. Like, it's unfortunate that you have to get into the nitty gritty math to really see the value, um, that you have to put a lot of legwork into the game to be able to see the value in the battle pass. Um, <clears throat> But there's no really great way for them to emphasize that earlier game for you without making you starved of resources. And you, 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 you kind of need them to at least get your core team up. So it's, it's, it's a little bit of a rough spot. Um, do I think it would be better if they just threw in a handful of more wishes? Well, if they, you know, dropped all the rest of this stuff by a third to make up for, you know, adding another five wishes... Yeah, I'd have a, I'd, I'd have a little bit of beef, just, just a little bit of beef. <laughs> but <clears throat> we'll see. I just wanted to, you know, kind of speak my piece on this and and show the math where it kind of backs up. They're like, no, the, for how everything's tuned, the the battle pass is 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 it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid, guys. All right, thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the silly ghost thing that I see is falling down now. Okay, yeah. All right, now we've got a ghost hand. That's just how life works, kids. Thank you so much. And uh, you're probably going to get a sucrose video tomorrow. I don't know. And then either sometime this weekend, uh, we're going to try and stream some Phasmophobia so that you guys can see me scream like a little girl. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate your faces. You have to catch your boy on the next one because uh, we're a spooky ghost. Deuces. I missed the button.